All right, we're going to repaint the yellow one here. So this is the the toned vermilion, and then I'm going to slide a little, little bit into a brown matter and indicate the uh, well. Actually, I'm going to have to put a little bit darker in. Um, let's try a little bit of blue. Let's see, make it nice and dark. And I can stop and gentle it out a little bit there. You want to clean the dark out of your brush. Pick up a little bit of yellow oxide and yellow, Hans yellow. And we'll start back here. Now I'm going to pick up a little bit more of the that uh, soft yellow and coax it. And remember again not to pass that half line over here. Coax it. Let's come over and remember to tap or overlap that previous stroke. Okay. I'm going to pick up a little bit more of that light over here. Let's camouflage that center area and like so. Right. Now we're ready for the first stroke on the rose cup. Okay, so we reach up. As the toe gets beneath is level with the bottom of the rose cup, you're going to set the brush down flat and with pressure coax it. Turn the brush quarter turn in your hand and Push up on the toe. I'm going to come again. You can already see the difference, the color change in the rows coming the second time. Um, another another um, petal here. Keep it really close. maybe an eighth of an inch, and push up. And we have one more. Again, touch up. Come right underneath. You pick up a little bit more of that white there, or the soft yellow. roll up. And now let's come to the outside um, petals and set the brush down beneath that first row of strokes. A lot of pressure. Remember this one is the largest one. It reaches out the furthest. When the ferrule is level with the bottom of the rose cup there, that's when you release your pressure and lift up and oh you slide it nicely on that toe right across. Okay, other side, same way. Out of pressure. Lift up and slide it right beneath that, keep them kind of close. Here. More on the chisel. Let me do this one again. A little confusion there. There. Slide. Other one. Slide. 
right in. And then this last one. Oops, that's a little bit too much. Had quite a bit of paint on my brush and applied a little bit more pressure than I really needed. Like so. I love the, the colors that have happened. Heel of the brush is right next to the rose cup. Pressure. Pressure, pressure. Release pressure. And on the toe, come across. Other side. Heel is right next to the side of the rose cup there. Pressure. Now I'm going to release pressure and I'm going to come across the, um, the cup there. I'm going to make a little angle like that. I'll come with a little bit more of the that dark color we had for the center. Let's see, now we can come. Renew that. And then we can soften here. And bring it up, bring it up into those little petals, those smaller uh, inside petals. And then why don't we go ahead and do the stamen? I'm going to take some of the um, the first the vermilion uh, with a little oops the vermilion with a little bit of blue in it. I think there was some warm white in that too. And I'm going to put it on the corner of my brush. Maybe I had a little bit too much just on the corner, and I will. Just set the corner down, come and pick up some yellow oxide. I didn't clean my brush. I did not clean the brush. Got a little bit of yellow oxide and do a few more. You could use yellow too. And then I'll pick up a little bit of that soft yellow. I didn't clean my brush just on the toe there like that 